Ryan, we've got a little away trip for you. Let's take the glasses off. Um, got a little away uh, trip for you in uh, Blackpool. Um, uh, 13th of May at the Winter Gardens. Lovely venue. Uh, top Should be a top night because it's uh, full of local lads. I think there's six kids on from Blackpool that are uh, uh, hopefully bring big time boxing back to Blackpool, mate. And, and you're going to be one of them there. Yeah, no, I'm looking forward to it. Um... Like I say it's an iconic venue. I was I was looking at the the people who've either either performed or boxed there. And it's been some good nights. So um, looking forward to it. I was up there in January with my dad, so I had a little look around the venue, and as I said, I think it'll be be a nice change for for me and, and everyone else. Yeah, it should be a really good way day. It's always good in Blackpool anyway. And uh, like I say, we've got a pack card, so uh, they're getting value for money. And uh, uh, going back to um, your last performance, mate. I, I was filming it, so I never got a chance to uh, talk to you afterwards. We had um, uh, Dan doing a few interviews, and uh, he, he didn't manage to catch over you, catch up with you. But um, a, a fight you needed, you needed to put it to bed because uh, last year uh, in Wigan, I think it was November, um, you, you suffered your first little blemish, and uh, it was a little bump in the road, you know. Yeah. You, he caught you with a sweet left hook, drop you down, you bounce back up. Um, but it's hard to win a four rounder when you've yeah. been down, isn't it, mate? Yeah, definitely. I just say it's you, you, you're chasing your tail a little bit then as well. And when you've only got the four rounds, I think it's hard to to actually get the results. So um, yeah, as I say, it's it's in hindsight now it's a, it's it's a great thing that it's happened because there's been a lot of change and development from that. But obviously, at the time, you you don't see that. Well, let's just skip forward then quickly because uh, first show of the season. Um, well, I think it's first or second show. Was it eleventh of March? Uh, the fifth, fifth of March. Fifth of March. Yeah, I think it was the first one of the first shows of the of the season. I think we'd had one in uh, uh, in Hull. Or no, oh, Doncaster. Well, yeah, Doncaster. Uh, but this was a, the first one of our local shows, and you had the rematch. And not only was it a rematch, but it was done over six rounds, your first six rounder. And uh, I, I thought he might give you a bit of trouble because he turned down fights um, on on our shows with other opponents because he, he was really focusing focusing on this fight. He, he was coming. He, he was he was going to cause an upset again. Um, yeah. And he, he felt like he had an extra two rounds to do it. And he felt like, you know, I'm going to win here. But actually, that wasn't the case. Uh, you put in what you normally do, an absolute polished performance, and, and, and school the kid from start to finish. Yeah. No, you're not wrong there. I spoke to Steve Lillis about that. And he said that the um, the opponent and his manager had said they're coming to, um, to get the win against the, against me because of what happened last time. So it was good to, to put that one to bed and, and re- go back to... Um, the the dominance um, performances, um, but again, that's that only came from the the hard work from what happened in the the previous well, fight. Then tell me, what changes did you make then from that previous fight the year before uh, in the in the November to when you rematch with rematch him in March? What, so what, you, what you implemented yeah, predominantly in sparring, really. So in sparring, I, I tend I tend to be quite attack focused and. I say I'll learn more than you, and I'll do a bit more than you. Whereas the the sparring I was doing was like I have with this one a lot with the the amateur lads because the the razor sharp, but they're really good to learn from. Is focusing on defence, and you know it's not always just gun go forward attack attack. It's all it, it it it's it's a lot it's a lot more to be a lot more relaxed in there. Um, mm-hmm. and, you know, that only comes with 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 ring craft and time in the ring and. Over over the last six months, that's that's all I've been doing. You know, the focus has changed from um, me, me fitness because I've I've got a solid base and I feel that I'm I'm fitter than anyone. And um, to to develop and you know learning the little the little tricks and um, how to how to how to manage um, scenarios in the ring. Now this is going to be your, your next six rounder. Would you like? Because we were talking before and. Fitness is, is a big part of your game. Um, when I used to talk to your old stable mates and everything, and I used to ask, like, you know, who's the kid that leads the way uh, in, in, in all exercises? Um, 
running, whatever it was. We were the kid who was always the one up front, always, always pushing the way. Uh, and I remember speaking to Derry Matthews, your coach, and he just said, phenomenally fit. So are you looking forward to when uh, we get those eight rounders in? To be honest, I spoke to um, I spoke to a few people, a few away fighters as well, and they actually said boxing, pro boxing fights don't start until the seventh round. And obviously, I've not experienced that, but the sooner the rounds go up, the better for me because you can drag people into them, them um, kind of situations where you know you do need to be physically conditioned. Um, you can get away with it with the four and six rounds, and so it's 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 quite can be quite comfortable. And um, so yeah, the sooner the sooner the rounds go up, the better for me because I feel as though that's my my superpower essentially is is my fitness and my will. Well, I, I believe congratulations in order because the, the reason why we're fitting you on this show is uh, you have a little bit of a break because you're getting married. Am I right? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, to be honest, be? I was, uh, so where or when did you say? Yeah, well, where and when? Oh, so 16th of September. And it's in Liverpool, so there's a church in Kirby. Um, so we'll get married in there, and then we'll go to a hotel in town, the Titanic Hotel, for the um, the after kind of yeah. the food and then the, the, the party. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, I've got got a little break ahead. To be honest, camp's been great, and people were asking, you know, how's it been? There's, you always feel as though there needs to be a problem, but I think with experience now, you you tend to relax a bit more, and you know that what 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 you what or what you need to do, um, you know, you're not, you're not stressing as much. More stresses for me is outside the ring with stuff like that plan. So, um, you know, good, so, good. What's your plans then? You know, we've got this six rounder out. Now, next step would be, uh, you know, Steve's always keeps you busy. You always got yeah. plenty of opportunities for fights. When are you going to be able to get back into the ring? Because you don't want too big a gap from, you know, this is going to be your second six rounder this yeah. year. Um, are you going to come back and do another six rounder, your first one back, and then maybe before the end of the year you'd like an eight? That's that's the hope from my side, to be honest. So um, we're we're going to look at maybe doing our proper honeymoon next year anyway. So um, the hope is get married, have a kind of I say return fight. It'd only be a couple of months um, rest, um, box again, and then hopefully I think there's a show in Blackpool again in December. That might be right. the time to do an eight rounder, but if it's another six, I just want to be as busy as I can the rest of this the rest of this year, and then mm -hmm. next year, like you say, it's hopefully the the year to, to break out and and go and challenge for things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And is welterweight still going to be your your weight? Yeah, definitely. So I'm I'm just obviously this this fight's a little bit heavier. It's on the day weigh, and so uh, eleven stone three it is. But I'm at the, I'm at the weight now, Liam. I say I feel feel good at it, and it's only with the day before when you've got you've got ample time, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And when we've got an opponent, we've got Dale Arrow Smith. Um, yeah. I think Dale it's going to be Dale's eighty-seven fight. Um, yeah. Very, very good. He, he wants to be a centurion this year. Uh, yeah. I'm pretty sure he's going to do it as well because uh, he's got. I just looked on Box Rec, and uh, I think he's got two fights booked in after yours as well. So. Yeah. Um, He's hoping you're not going to cause an upset for him. Um, but he's very good. And what he'll do is, you know, I think he's, he's only been stopped in his 70-odd losses. He's only been stopped six times. And the majority of them were inside his first uh, 20 fights. Yeah. And the last time was, I think it was Bradley Skeet uh, during the lockdown. Yeah. 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 The, um, uh, it was on the car park in Sheffield. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, so he's, he's very good at his job and uh, I think you'll have to take uh, if you can turn him into the journeyman that is and the very good journeyman that is very early on and, and, and make sure he doesn't get any confidence then uh, that's a great chick in the box um, but he, he is he is he's very good at his job now he's learned it well and uh, as I said he's got a lot of shows booked in uh, after you so he's not going to want to get stopped no. but I presume for you, the rounds would be really important again, wouldn't it? And so you can try all these little things you've been working on. You can try and step it up round by round and, and make it really earn his money. That's it. I think, obviously, you have the utmost respect for these away fighters and, and boxers anyway, because it's a, it's a tough sport and you know yourself being involved in it. But um, 
the, the, the plan is just to express myself and, and, and showcase again what, what development has been for the last eight to ten weeks since my last bout because there's been there's been plenty of it. So I'm looking forward to, to showcase. Am I, am I going to be smiling then? Am I going to be seeing a few new things that I've not seen? Because you're always adding to your game. Right? I remember yeah. you were adding a little bit of switching over the last few fights. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, it's, a, it's a work in progress, isn't it? And you know what? I look back to, say, my debut or second, third fight, and I was watching them quite recently, actually, and, and there's there's lots of development there. And at the time, you don't realise where you're at, but it's on reflection that you you look back and, and you you can appreciate the, the, the improvements you've made. Obviously, the goal is always changing. So, you know, in my last camp, it was to focus on my defence and be more um, kind of tight and neat. Whereas this time it's changed, and you'll see you'll see that in the, in the bout where bits of variety and 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 varying the tempo and and changing the height, and that's the that's the focus from me again. And you know, after this fight, I'll I'll probably have another focus, and it's just about trying to add all the the chinks to your to your armor, so that next year for me, I, I'm ready to to be let loose. You you were telling me before that uh, you've been doing a lot of in-house sparring with a lot of the because you've got. Uh, Derry has a really good stable of uh, amateur fighters yeah. in his gym, and you've been using them. and And has, has that been good? Because obviously their tempo is much higher than the thing is. So I presume you've been pairing for a, a six round, and you've been moving around with a couple of fresh kids each time. Yeah, exactly that. To be honest, it's um, it's a hard night's work when you're in there with them. But uh, yeah, it's good. As you say, it's it's good to have different different styles as well. So there's there's been a couple of lads where. You know, you'll be sparring a lad who's a little bit taller, rangy, and then someone a bit smaller. And I say they're they're ambitious in the 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 game in the spars as well. So it's it's good to to try and um, implement the stuff that you you want to with and them. And the good thing about that is if you're if you're finding openings at their tempo, then when you go into the you know when you're back on the on the pro game and you you fight sparring the pros, you're going to see those openings much quicker. Because because the tempo of the, the amateurs is is we, we we think it's nothing but it's a massive difference. Uh, the tempo of a, a three round top amateur to a six round spa with a you know a, with a pro it's totally different, isn't it? Daddy Daddy said or he's he's, he's mentioned a few times it, the two different sports and it sounds ridiculous but you know you know yourself it, it's a completely different sport and. You know, varying from that is only going to be beneficial because you can get, you can, you can slow down a little bit. I think by just sparring the pros all the time because it is a bit of a slower pace. There's more, there's more detail in it. I think, but then you know, as I say, it's 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 a faster tempo with the the younger lads. Yeah, and sometimes I think we can overthink too much, and I presume with that amateur pace, you don't really have chance to think too much. You've just got to react, and like yeah. you're saying going to benefit you that um because your reaction speeds are going to be far quicker um in, in this because it's going to be seven fight is it now seven fight yeah again you know what Lee it's mad looking back because I remember obviously I had a few headaches at the start with the boxing and you know that's kind of delayed me me getting going but I've been quite busy to be fair and it's that that's all I ever wanted to, at the at the start so um I'm, I'm over the moon and I just want to say thanks to everyone for the support, not only just for this fight, because Blackpool's going to feel like Liverpool, I'm telling you, because yeah. there's, there's a good group going. Um, but, yeah, yeah, there is, yeah. Um, but just for the support over this the this last two years as well, because it's, you it's can one hour sport. You can treat can't you, mate? Treat as you stag well, yeah. <laughs> can be one of them, yeah. One. <laughs> yeah, yeah, um, Listen, but no, it's been overwhelming the support. So just, just really grateful for that. Yeah, well, like I say, I, I'm really looking forward to. Uh, it is going to be a quality night. So not only are they going to get a chance to see you pick up win number six, they're also going to see a, a group of really, really talented uh, Blackpool kids up there. So yeah. uh, I think uh, everyone's in for a real treat. I'm looking forward to it. May the thirteenth, we've got. Uh, well, by the time this goes up, you've got eight days to wait, mate. Eight days to wait. And uh, I presume all the hard work's done now. It's just keeping sharp, isn't it? That's exactly it. Yeah, I've had a, to be honest, I, I, I've, I'm ready. So I've had a couple of days kind of downtime now as well. So 
be back in the gym tomorrow and like you say just the sharp and stuff and time to feel good now like because it's it's a tough few weeks when you're in the middle of camp isn't it yeah 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 yeah, yeah hard. but like you say uh, uh you must take a lot of confidence from that last performance because um a lot of people would have turned that down brian you know what i mean they would have yeah. said oh, oh i'll have one more then before i go back into there and uh you didn't, and and you were stepping up to six rounds, and uh, we shouldn't have worried because uh, there was no there was no issue, mate. You went out there and you've been doing what you do in all your previous fights before that. Um, uh, just control control with ease, mate. Got rid of the demons from that last fight there. That <laughs> that not one fight anyway, the bogeyman. So it was good to um, get the win. I bet Christmas was horrible for you, wasn't it, mate? Oh, it was tough, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Very I really nice. like. Uh, yeah. Well, listen, good luck. I'll see you down there. Um, obviously, you're on the day weighing. Um, on the day, yeah. Um, so I'll, I'll see you on the 13th uh, in Blackpool. And uh, I'll hopefully be chatting to you afterwards. And I'll be saying, well, number six. Six, yeah. Thank you, Lee. All right. Listen, Brian, you take care, mate. And uh, Thanks, do I get an invite, mate? <laughs> well, we will see. <laughs> See you later, kiddo. Take care, mate. Thanks, bye, bye. bye. Thank you. For all boxing info, news, and latest interviews, amateur and pro across the north, click and subscribe. VIP boxing promotions. Also, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook.